Ethiopian government released a documentary entitled Yefetis Koka, which could translate to Agony of Justice, yesterday. It is in Amharic and is a story of torture and abuse of citizens in the hands of intelligence officers in what was once a notorious torture chamber now allegedly closed, Makaloi, and other secret torture chambers in the capital Addis Ababa. The office of the Federal Attorney General announced in advance that it would be released. Whose production is it? Apparently the office prepared it by interviewing individuals who claim to be victims of unimaginable human rights violations in the hands of intelligence officers. One of the victims featured in the documentary is Jonas Gashodamik. He said he was arrested in 2016 following popular protest across the country on alleged grounds of being Jinbot 7's then an outlawed opposition coordinator in Bahirdar, Western Ethiopia. He also says that former government security agents rolled over his brother in Bahirdar and his mother died in connection with a legal measure taken by what was then TPLF government. He was healthy and capable before his arrest but he came out of prison disabled and with emotional trauma due to horrifying torture. Among many other things, he says he was castrated and made sterile, his hands and legs were tied together and handed in a tree in the forest in Kotibi, the outskirts of Addis Ababa in the north. Kefi Elutefera, another victim, says both his legs were amputated in connection with torture while he was in prison. Pro-TPLF activists on the other hand claimed that he was an OLF operative and ran into an accident while he was trying to throw a grenade in a public place. Forcefully sodomizing inmates was also used as a means of torture, as per claims by rights abuse victims. Ethiopian Human Rights Council says, that human rights violations in Ethiopia in the past 27 years in worse than what was disclosed through the documentary. Ethiopians in different parts of the country are shocked to the core with the documentary that government released. We have learned that many Ethiopians have been subject to inhuman torture and that the rule of law was in the hands of individuals, residents of Behirdar are cited.